Hey, it's Mike Chen. The world is full of mysteries. That's why it's so fun to work on this channel. I especially love things from ancient history that we just can't figure out. And I don't know if that's because I've watched one too many Indiana Jones movies or the fact that I don't believe that our ancestors are as technologically unadvanced as most people might think. From the pyramids to Stonehenge, there are so many ancient secrets out there in plain sight that we still can't solve. And perhaps one of those ancient secrets is the Sri Padmana Boha Swami Temple. This temple is as ancient as Hinduism, the faith that is practiced in it. Located in Kerala, India, this temple is named the richest temple in the world. And one look at the beautiful structure gives the prestige away, for the entire structure is covered in actual gold. This ancient temple is beautifully built and is a prime example of a combination of Kerala and Dravidian architecture, styles that were popular among Hindu temples, especially in the state of Kerala. However, the Padwana Boha Swami temple has something about it that makes it stand out out among the rest. And it's not the golden exterior, but something else, something far more mysterious. It is said that underneath this ancient Hindu temple may be one of the greatest treasures known to man. And before we get into that, let's talk about its history for a second here. The temple's history goes back to 500 BC and 300 AD, when it was mentioned in several texts during India's Sangam period of literature. Essentially, like any temple, it serves as a place of worship, and in this case, its primary deity is Vishnu and the entrance to it is only granted to Hindus. There is no exact date as to when this temple was built, but one thing is for sure, it's been there for a long time. And in 2011, with an order from the Indian Supreme Court, the six known vaults underneath the temple were explored. What was found inside them shocked the world. The vaults that were opened held unimaginable treasures, further cementing the temple's title. They contained precious stones and metals, ancient artifacts, but most of all, gold. There were gold coins dated around 200 BC, golden necklaces and crowns, and even a solid gold statue of the deity of the temple. The treasures were estimated to be worth billions and some even say trillions of dollars. And it was said to be one of the biggest treasure finds in all of history. And that's not even the most exciting part. What's crazy was that out of the six vaults of the temple, only five were completely opened. The last vault, named Vault B by the Indian Supreme Court, contains a door that leads to another chamber. The door, like the temple, is beautifully adorned, if not a little scary. Carved on the door are two giant cobras said to be warnings to anyone who wants to open it and reveal the secrets inside. What's strange is that there are no latches or bolts on the door, not even a keyhole. No other means of entry except for a rich ritual that is supposed to be performed by a Hindu monk who must be powerful enough to perform the Garuda Mantra or a powerful chant. And there is currently no such person capable of doing this. That's why this inner sanctum has been sealed for centuries and no one knows exactly what's inside. Much information about the temple and its vaults is lost on the temple officials, even for the Travancore royal family whose trust the temple is under. However, if the substantial amount of wealth from the other vaults is of any indication, then it would be reasonable to think that this vault too will bring treasures with it. Or it could be a curse if the cobra's warning on the door of the inner vault had any truth to them. Also, it seems that this isn't the first time the Indian government has tried to explore the temple. In 1908, there was a failed attempt to open the vaults because the explorers quickly left when they found the chambers infested with cobras. However, in 1931, when the state of Kerala was financially in need, another attempt was made to breach the vaults, and this time it was successful, with at least one of the vaults opened and ample treasure found. As for the other vaults, it would be 80 years until their treasures would be found, but not Vault B, which has remained closed and continues to be so to the outside world. Currently, the government of India is still trying to open the sealed door inside Vault B, but the Travancore royal family, along with many religious devotees, have appealed the government's order for another exploration of the remaining vaults. And this was because a ritual called Dava Prasnam was held to find out the deity's wish on the fate of the temple. So in the ritual, a young boy would serve as the instrument through which the deity would interact and convey his or her wishes. And after this ritual, it was found out that the deity was apparently not very happy, wishing the treasures not to be disturbed and the last vault not to be opened, or else. And according to those who performed this ritual, the opening of the inner chamber will cause untold catastrophic events of apocalyptic proportions. Then there's another conflict going on. Of course, this is a lot of money for a money-starved government. So the government of India wants to actually use this treasure 
government. So my question to you guys is, is that the best thing? I mean, for me, and this is just my own opinion, I think if my government found a lot of ancient treasure, I, I would like to see it in a museum, not to be sold off, and then maybe go into the pockets of some corrupt officials. Also guys, let me know what do you think is in the final vault? Although I, I am really curious about what's in there, and I do sort of want them to open it so, so I can see, but at the same time, I also don't want a real life version of the mummy. But let me know what you think. Do you think the final vault also contains untold treasures? Or do you think the people who built the temple purposely put all the treasures on the on the outside five vaults so that people can just take it and leave and not disturb the final vault? And then the final vault really does contain some sort of curse? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I'll see you later.